Greetings and a warm welcome to all. Today it's about transit of Mars in Taurus and its retrogression from 10th of August till 12th of March 2023 for nearly 6 months long. Any transit will make a difference, but transit of Mars is very significant in many ways. It is the lord of the first house of the natural Kal Purush chart. Mars is the ascendant lord for everyone. It is the significator for all our actions. Also Mars brings change or transformation wherever it transits. As it is the lord of the natural 8th house also. When Mars is in Taurus it will aspect its own sign Scorpio the sign of transformation so the change can be of one of the major themes of Mars in Taurus Now Taurus is also a fixed bull sign so any change you are trying to make will not come in an easy manner so be persistent in what you try to change and make consistent efforts for that all actions will be result oriented and focused on concrete matters so far mars was in aries which is the mool trikon sign for mars one of the best placement for mars but it couldn't perform well as it was in the clutches of rahu mars was known in its natural energetic form and all his energies was used in protecting himself or conflicting with the circumstances mars couldn't do or achieve much in aries but with this transit in taurus mars is relieved from the restrictions or the bondage of rahu he is now much relieved to give some concrete results certainly with taurus mars there can be slowness but concrete action taurus is ruled by venus so the energy will be used in managing finances family revising our values protecting resources having some relaxing time to have pleasure in everything also spending on having comfort in life the mars sign in our chart shows how we respond to the conflicts and challenges in front of us it will describes the degree of force that we have to go after for what we want how we get into conflict and for what we are getting into conflict mars also has significance for siblings younger people in our life check anyone how they work their working pattern if they are working with passion enthusiasm then that mars indicates good dignity and you will be self motivated you do not need any external force to make you work you need nothing you just need a target a goal you are then focused to achieve that also taurus is a fixed earthy sign and encourages you to go slow and steady there is bull like endurance and capacity to fight the toughest battle Taurus sign rules the neck the face mouth the throat in medical astrology it also rules our all five senses like the taste touch hearing vision and our smell mars rules blood and muscles in the body do pay extra attention to all these as retrogression is not good for any health related issues Well Mars is in Taurus deal everything around with love care and affection Taurus is an even and passive sign and that wants to go slow and smoothly That's how you need to deal with the matters around you while Mars is in Taurus Also Mars rules the 7th and the 12th house for Taurus ascendant So it is all about relationships partnerships and what you give in these relations how you deal with these relations Actually Taurus is not the best placement for Mars The Lord Venus is not a very good friend to Mars 
and Mars is too fast for this solid and earth sign. Also, Taurus is a sensitive and feminine in nature, which is not like Mars anywhere. Mars is like masculine. Change doesn't come easy with Taurus sign. And Mars is being the natural eighth lord, wants to change wherever it transits. Here in Taurus, Mars will be determined to bring change in our resources, our money, the way we handle and deal with our finances our family and also our eating habits. We may question our own values and principles that we follow in life. Taurus Mars will try to protect or bring stability and security in all these matters. Mars is generally very impulsive and has a risk-taking tendency. But Taurus Mars will be cautious with his action and will be very practical in his approach, which is the best course of action while Mars is in Taurus. Just be careful of being stubbornly defensive for self. Mars has a tough time already with Rahu and Uranus while in Aries. There was frustration and surprised anger. He couldn't act well. There must have been some changes in your life that has a major impact at some level. So now Mars is on alert mode while in Taurus. He will not go blindly. The responses will be very slow and with proper thought process. Even your speech will be very understanding and stable. You will think before talking. Mars will use all his strength in protecting and making a secure environment for himself and even for his family members. This Mars will be reliable and dependable. There will be motivation to put in continuous efforts to work on the long term plans and have stability in life. And Taurus Mars will highlight our desires and how we pursue them. The reason behind our action will be with respect to the finances, any material comfort, family togetherness or our principles of life. It can be a very relaxing, joyful and pleasant time if we use the energy well with good food and comfort with family. As Venus, the Lord of Taurus is in the Cancer at the beginning of this transit. Our action will not be quick, but slow, step by step, in a very disciplined way. There won't be any rush or impulsive behavior. We will be very passive, slow, cautious and sensitive towards everything. Mars is also a very important planet for Saturn. As Saturn is in the nakshatra of Dhanista, Mars nakshatra, any move of Mars will impact the way Saturn works. Saturn is in trying to with this Mars. We can expect some concrete result of Saturn with this Taurus Mars. Other than that, we do not have any major aspect or influence on this Mars. But Mars has its fourth protective aspect on Leo sign where Mercury is transiting initially followed by Sun and Venus. Mars may try to control and protect the sign Leo and any planet if placed there. Then Mars will aspect its own sign Scorpio with its challenging and opposite aspect, the seventh aspect. There can be struggle and conflict while making any changes and dealing with others. Just make sure that you do not get into any conflict or spoil the atmosphere with your aggression. And Mars will have its transformative 8th aspect on Sagittarius. Mars is determined to bring lasting changes and will conclude the matters related to the placement of Sagittarius sign in your chart and all its significations like travel, higher education, molding your world views, any religious matters and expanding your horizons. Mars will be ready to take any risk and get into even conflicts here 
to make things happen at any cost let us see the journey of mars in taurus this year we have retrogression of mars from the early degree of gemini at 1 degree to 14 degrees of taurus for more than 6 months mars will be transiting between rohini and mrigashira nakshatra from 10th of august till 27th of august mars will be in kritika nakshatra both mars and kritika nakshatra has fire element Mars will start this transit by burning something to purify. Check the significance of sun. The role sun plays in your chart and its placement for observing the impact of Kritika Mars. This Kritika Mars may give some lasting impact before Mars will start its next target in Rohini. Do keep in mind that Mars is not going to visit Kritika while in retrogression. and kritika is a mishra mixed nakshatra in nature and gives equal treatment to friends and enemies and with no discrimination what this means is kritika will do its job any which ways irrespective of the role it plays in your individual chart it will try to give justice and it's a two sided sword so be careful The Lord of Kritika Sun will also cross Gandanta in between from 16th of August to 18th of August. This can be a very sensitive time to release all your blocked emotions and even your expressions. Expect something significant with this Gandanta and start of a new chapter in your life. With this transit of Mars in Kritika, we almost reach the retrogression point of 13 degrees. So do make most of this time and work accordingly. Then from 27th of August till 24th of September, Mars will be in Rohini nakshatra. Mars is not very happy in Moon's nakshatra as Mars is debilitated in Cancer sign. it lacks stability and gives a moody approach which mars is not comfortable with but if we can use the energy of moon well then rohini is capable to give rise and growth in your life can give some new creation at all the levels granting great fertility growth moreover it can create strong desires in us enhancing our motivation to act on our goals but it also evokes some degree of jealousy which can easily turn into conflict and aggression when mars transits this nakshatra the most important thing to keep in mind is from here that is from the end of august and mars in rohini do not take up any important and new projects in hand It is the time for you to finish your old projects. There are chances of that going back and forth or there can be delays or repeated attempts. Be ready for more hard work and do take care of your emotions and anger. Check the lordship of moon while observing the impact of Rohini transit. Then from 24th of September till 16th of October Mars will be in its own nakshatra Mrigashira. This will be an eventful time as Mars will be in its own nakshatra. Strong results can be expected. Mrigashira is a soft nakshatra who is searching for some knowledge, something, some information and finds it also. Ultimately, it may bring joy, pleasure. great enjoyment that is earned or conquered with hard work you need to observe the lordship of mars in your chart to check its impact then from 16th of october till 30th of october mars will be in gemini mrigashira nakshatra now this mars will be different mars is just touching gemini and goes back to finish some unfinished task of the taurus sign in your chart for nearly a month 
from 16th of October till 14th of November this Gemini Mars may show you the probable future which can take shape by March 2023 once Mars will get into a direct motion and in between for nearly 6 months you will be working on that future vision we may feel a little lighter with Gemini Mars as it is a clever intellectual and fun loving sign there can be an increase in the ability to learn something new and also have some great debates even good communication you can feel aggression in your communication but all these are just for a month as Mars will transit back to Taurus on 14th of November then from 4th of December till 25th of February Mars will be in Rohini Nakshatra again maintaining your stability is very important during this time be careful and balance your emotions all your reactions in this time to make the best use of this time to your advantage see Mars is revisiting this portion so anything pending of earlier time which you have started from end of August that can now actually take shape especially when Mars will get direct on 12th of January 2023 in these two months from 12th of January till 12th of March that will be the most happening time and can show you some results this will be the result giving time of not just Mars but also Saturn and Jupiter as Jupiter is in Saturn's nakshatra and Saturn is in Mars nakshatra so Mars will be the determining factor for both the transit Jupiter and Saturn also by this time we shall have all the planets in their direct motion your struggles may come to an end by this time let us see the impact on all 12 ascendants wherever the Taurus sign is placed in your chart along with Mars, Moon, their Lordship and the connection that they make with respect to your ascendant even your running Dasha period all these can determine the type of results that you can expect with this transit I will share a few key areas where you can use the persistent energy of Mars to transform that area. Observe what you have to protect or defend for everyone's good. Which area of your life demands your close attention and needs proper action to improve your finances, your family matters and your current conditions in general. With Mars, there is enough confidence. You have energy. Even there is decisiveness. It can go back and forth with retrogression. You just have to make best use of it. Start with Aries. For Aries, this can be the best time for you to reflect on how you value your possessions. And also your health. How you deal with your family. Their feelings may matter you the most during this time. It is the best time for you to make all the necessary changes in all these matters. Your health, about your family, home. These things may demand much of your time and energy. This Mars may slow down your voice but can improve on your comfort, your happiness, peace of mind. Even your finances and your values will get better if you put the energy in the right direction. Talking about Taurus, for Taurus, it is the best time to change your image, your personality. Work on your health, fitness, your close relations and your partnerships. Do make changes that are needed for improving all your relations and your personality. Also, there are chances of relocation. This Mars impacts you personally. It may change you internally and externally. You may feel energetic and matters related to the foreign country will be in the focus along with some major expenses. 
talking about gemini you may need some private time to support yourself some self realization and getting internal will surely help but serving others learning something new or being with nature and being fit and healthy can also empower you it is the best time to work on yourself and reflect on your desires and the rewards that you have got so far also do check on what needs change to improve your gains how you can improve your relations and fulfill all your wishes travel to distant places or have some investment or spend some money on learning something new will be beneficial talking about cancer for cancer you are at your best and how you use this strong energy for the benefit of everyone around you is very important your friendships family finances your ideals happiness and desires should be protected now this transit may fulfill all your desires will put you on top in your work can get you that most awaited change and you will shine among your circle with some good success but do watch on your health in all these matters talking about leo you will be energetic and completely engrossed with your career in fulfilling your ambitions and having some good social status nothing can stop you now your personal pleasures children family health personality and social life will be your main target with this transit you are shining bright in your career zone you are in the center stage with all your passion and your superb communication skills talking about virgo virgo your perspective on life travel family the world in general may become strong and clear and you will be very protective about it even you want to communicate on that but be careful on your tone while speaking you may go harsh your father your mentor teachers are playing some special role and the time demands a change in your thought process relocation renovation or some major expenses or even foreign travel or settlement can be on your mind talking about libra you will be extremely cautious and protective of your shared possessions now how you share your values even feelings with others within your circle also how you handle your name fame and success that you have got you are heading towards some major transformation with respect to your relations family finances and the way you communicate with others have special watch on your health your work anything related to research taxes occult science will be in the focus now talking about scorpio scorpio will be more defensive for self they may get into conflict protecting themselves you may have elevation in your career expansion in your family and your finances you may have to observe the way you relate with others and the rest of the world while keeping your own identity your relations and your partnerships of all kinds even your business may need some modifications in the way you deal with it you may try to put all your energy on building a strong self image and staying healthy but there can be conflicts also you can easily get into fights so staying calm is very important talking about sagittarius by end of this transit in the next 6 months you may see a complete makeover in yourself and your belief system your work area and health along with your day to day activity also can change your focus will be more on fitness on your expenses and the matter related to foreign countries will be in the focus the energy of mars will be used in your work zone more in building your health along with having discipline in your life 
talking about Capricorn, your risk taking tendency will be evaluated in any creative work or in case of any decision that you have to make for your children. You will be working on the matter related to stock market, your personal happiness and your network. You certainly now look for success, rewards of your past hard work done and anything related to foreign settlement or travel to distant places. Mars will encourage you to use your energy to improve your intelligence. Learn something new. Develop new talents. Make all those necessary changes to express yourself in a better way. Your children can shine too. And you may develop some new creative hobbies. Talking about Aquarius, your roots, mother, home and the foundation of your value system may need some protection and change. And balancing the same with your career, your health and your routine life will be important. Also matter related to new relations in your life, your family, home, travel, vehicles. Your career will be the most happening area. You will mainly use the energy of Mars to fulfill your desires, to have success in developing and improving new relations and also correcting your approach towards it. Talking about Pisces, you need to watch on the way you communicate with everyone, especially your family and avoid any fights or conflicts while traveling and expressing your thoughts in writing may help you more. Mars will provide all the necessary help and stamina to make the required changes. Take up some major task and even go for higher education. Also work hard and show your talent with your excellent communication and your writing ability. Enhance your confidence and courage in your work zone. Finish any documentation or government related work. That's all for all 12 ascendants. To conclude, what you need to check is if your actions, aggression and confidence, what you have got with this transit is taking you towards any growth. Reflect on are you constructively using this or your energies are used in just fighting, arguing and discussing things without any conclusion. Also, be committed like a Taurus bull. Stay practical, diplomatic and well-grounded. And this transit of Mars in Taurus will bring you all the fruits of your labor. All in all, if you will pay attention to all your five senses, and have a proper balance then you will be able to best use this transit to your advantage take care of your anger and keep a light-hearted approach you can take initiative lead things and be confident like a soldier do little more than what you normally do and the rest will surely follow best wishes to everyone thank you for your time do write in your comments and queries and i'll see you all soon thank you